Hey, we're out here chasing crappies, springtime. We've had a late spring here, which is fine. Water temps in the mid, I'm looking at 45 degree water temp. And a lot of anglers are just scourged, but don't be, just because you can't catch them way up in the shallow stuff doesn't mean they're not biting. We had a great day of crappie fishing. We caught them in that mid depth range from like seven to 12 feet of water. I'm just paying attention for schools, casting into them. We caught them two different ways. Uh, the first way, hair jig rocket bobber you can see it's a pretty long lead i got about a five foot lead on that you want that thing to go down no weight in between you let it sit a lot of times this is a situation where you want to let that sit for a period of time let the fish come over and get it i'm using a six foot light action rod i got five, five pound test frost ice line on there it works great the other setup that i've been using to slingshot or sharpshoot these fish is a 132nd ounce drop tg that's a tungsten jig head small profile but fish is heavy and a try live tube on there. Here I'm using a micro braid. I'm using a six pound test micro braid, like a nano fuse, and then I'm putting a fluorocarbon leader on there. This gives me castability, no stretch, gives me a lot more power on the hook set when I'm fishing something more like this, where I'm tight lining those things, watching for those bites, and then setting the fish, setting the hook home. So that's kind of the one two punch on how we're catching these fish. And uh, we're just looking for, like I said, weed lines, moving around until we mark fish. We mark fish, we cast into them, usually catch one, the school disperses, you chase them again, and away you go, and we're catching fish much like this. Having fun? Chasing springtime crappies. Give that a shot, go out there, have some fun. We got a few weeks to the opener here in Minnesota, but you can definitely chase some slabs.